When a camera crew shows up on your front yard on a hot day in July, it can attract a lot of attention. Here comes another one. <laughs> but it's not really the crew that's turning heads. It's a pack of 25 colorful fiberglass dogs. These positive, wonderful hounds are the dog children of Joe Maber. We got the idea to do Paws on the Plat community art by seeing sculptures in different communities, different cities, such as Lincoln's hearts and things. And I thought, I really want to look into that. Joe is doggedly determined to find the perfect way to raise money for the cause that's close to her heart. We are an organization of volunteers that works to improve the lives of cats and dogs in the North Platte area. We do that by providing low-income spay-neuter services, by emergency veterinary care, working to educate pet owners on responsible pet care. As president of Positive Partners, Jo collaborated with her team and came up with a charitable event that combined local businesses and artists with animal lovers. There's a lot of talented artists in North Platte and we decided that we would ask if any would like to volunteer to paint dogs for our project. Of the people that we asked, not a single one turned us down and said they would love to. Paws on the Platte Community Art Project was born. The concept was simple. A business sponsors a fiberglass dog, a selected local artist paints it, and then the finished piece goes up for public auction. I love Jo because she is just as excited and passionate about these dogs as we are, and she loves every dog. Like, she won't pick a favorite, but every dog is very special to her, and for that, how could you not get excited? Business owner and artist Jeff Codwell incorporated scenes of North Platte on his dog he named Sprocket. For one, I'm a dog lover, and two, I am a big bike rider. And when I ride my bike, I wanted to know, like, where do I ride in North Platte? What do I like to see? And I love the old buildings downtown, which is why Paramount and the Fox Theater's on here. Um, you have the Pawnee, Scouts Rest Ranch, the Railroad, the Spike, Cody Park. I mean, all these are great places where you can ride your bike and, and check out. And I just thought I'd incorporate that on Sprocket. My mom passed away during this, so I had a struggle for a while trying to figure out what I was gonna do. And she was proud of North Platte, so that is kind of why this has a lot of me and, and my mom and, and my family in this, so you do grow fond of him. Um, it is fun and we just like bringing in smiles to everybody's faces so that's how we came up with him. Body piercer and apprentice tattoo artist Mariah Sprunk grew up around animals. She and a group of fellow tattoo artists painted Lloyd. So Lloyd's wearing his little dapper vest with his sweet little glasses and he's got this beautiful little helix piercing over here and it just kind of ties in with that old school tattoo shop vibe. The quality of the artistry is just phenomenal. We have some artists that this was their first project that, to do anything like this. We have some that were very seasoned and actually have artwork around the United States and even overseas. Tara Linneman was inspired by the bold decorative colors found in Hispanic art when she painted Dante Coco Loco. I decided to paint it in the aspect of the Mexican traditional folk art. It's a really neat technique to decorate their spirit animal characters. I just thought it was a really cool design to do for this dog. When you see all the dogs together especially, it's just a little overwhelming to the senses because of the quality of the artwork, the variety, the different themes. People have been in awe of it and really support what we've done. 
I wanted to be part of this project because I, I have a real passion for animals and I know that the funds for these auctions are going to just go to a really great program. The Positive Partners have done so many amazing things for our community. Like so many other dogs and cats who found their forever home through the good works of Positive Partners and the North Platte Animal Shelter, Sprocket and his 24 other pals have now found their forever homes in the communities across Nebraska. In North Platte, it seems every dog does indeed have its day.